Hey, it's Mike Chen. Let me ask you guys, have you ever wanted a brother or sister? Uh, maybe more specifically, have you ever wanted a twin brother or sister? I personally never really did, mainly because I gotta admit, I hate sharing stuff. And when I was growing up, we weren't the most wealthy family and the thought of having to share the studio apartment I already shared with my parents was just really not the most appealing idea. But then again, it would have been kind of nice to have someone to grow up with and maybe support you through all the awkward Asian family meal times and, and vacations I had to go through. Pretty big revelation about myself if you're interested at the end of this video. Okay, so this video, we're obviously gonna talk about twins, but did you know that sometimes a twin pregnancy does not always yield twins? Because sometimes one twin is absorbed or fused to the other, resulting in one baby. And this is the case with talented singer Taylor Mole. Taylor always wondered about what appeared to be a large birthmark on the left side of her torso. And when she visited her doctor to find out about the different pigmentations on her torso, she was shocked to find out that what looked like a birthmark is actually her fraternal twin. Further tests reveal that her twin has her own DNA and separate genetic code. Taylor admits to feeling relieved that finally things made sense because one side of her body always felt kind of different. Her organs were slightly larger on the left side. She also experienced various aversions to food, jewelry, medications, and insect bites just on the left side of her body. So what exactly is chimerism? Chimerism is a condition that occurs when at least four parent cells are fused to form one fetus. And by four parent cells, I, I mean two separate eggs fertilized by two separate sperms to create two different embryos. These embryos have distinct genetic characters and DNA. When these embryos combine to form the same fetus, each zygote maintains its own genetic code. Now, chimerism occurs in both animals and plants, and there are two types of chimerism in animals, namely tetragrammatic chimerism and microchimerism. Tetragrammatic chimerism occurs when two genetically independent cells combine into one fetus, like in the taste of Taylor. Each classification of DNA possesses its own character traits. Now, tetragrammatic chimeras can go their whole life without ever knowing, but some of them, however, have distinguishing characteristics. The most common size include different eye color, uneven pigmentations, ambiguous genitalia, different blood groups and immunity systems, and disparity in organ sizes. This all depends on the distribution of DNA of the two different entities throughout the body. If one DNA is dominant, most of the body organs will match that DNA, leaving a few areas for the docile DNA. DNA. Now the thing is, identical twins can intermingle into the same baby, but they are not exactly considered chimeras. This is because the genetic composition of identical twins is very similar. Now microchimerism is caused by either a medical procedure or as an inherited trait. That's right, medically induced microchimerism can occur as a result of blood transfusion or bone marrow transplant. After a blood transfusion, the DNA of the donor body remains alive in the recipient for 115 days. In the case of bone marrow transplants, the DNA of the donor remains in the body of the recipient forever. Now, after Taylor was diagnosed with chimerism in 2009, there has been an increased awareness of the condition. As it turns out, chimerism is not really uncommon. For example, in 2002, Karen Keegan needed a kidney transplant, and things got complicated when DNA testing to find a suitable donor revealed that she couldn't be the mother of two of her three children. Later, it was proven that she was a chimera, and the DNA in her blood cells didn't match her organs. Later that year, Lydia Fairchild, almost lost custody of her children when DNA results indicated they could not be her children. Luckily, her lawyer launched a defense based on Karen Keegan's case, proving that Lydia Fairchild was a chimera and the only DNA matching her children was from her cervix. And this is all really relevant because as we find out more about chimerism, there is no denying the impact it's going to have on how we view genes and DNA. Because if you consider the current role DNA plays in our identification processes, DNA evidence can single-handedly incriminate or exonerate a person. And rare as it may be, we cannot ignore the impact chimerism has on our theory of one person equals one DNA. Because now it is possible that multiple people can possess the same DNA and vice versa. And this is going to impact a lot of fields, including criminal justice, where comprehensive DNA testing now has to include samples of bone, hair, saliva, semen, skin tissue, just to eliminate the chances of the rare tetragrammatic chimerism and also the more common microchimerism as well. Now, ultimately, the reality of chimerism is it's little known. And it's somewhat scary because you have like two people in one person. But it is also one of life's mysteries and wonders. Anyway, so what I was alluding to in the beginning and I wanted to talk about the end and why I wanted to do this video is because this condition also applies to me as well. I never really talked about this in any one of my videos. I think maybe I mentioned it a couple times during a discussion once, but I had a twin brother. I had a twin brother who was with me in my mother's womb and unfortunately he did not survive. Um, but the doctor said that I actually absorbed 
absorbed a lot of uh, him and me. Maybe this is why I always talk to myself, I'm not sure. And this is not like some multi-personality, split personality disorder or anything, I'm not crazy. Uh, but sometimes I feel like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's like two people in me. I, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, I thought this was a really interesting topic to do a video about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.